this video isn't for everyone and that's perfectly okay if it's not for you i completely understand this is going to be more of just like an oddly satisfying video this video is going to be me sharpening my lip liners so if that sounds interesting to you <laughs> Stick around, we're gonna get into it now. Here's the swatches of all of my lip liners. I have neglected my lip liners, like resharpening them for so long and I keep threatening that I need to do it. And it's actually been limiting my looks for some time. <laughs> There's no reason for it. There's no reason for it because as you can see, I, I have sharpeners, okay? So I have the tools. <laughs> I have the need and now I have enough dexterity ability that I can do it. So yeah, I actually purchased these two lip liners just in a pinch to use real quick because I hadn't sharpened my favorite ones and I've come to find out that I don't really like these lip liners. I don't know. They just, I mean, I liked this one enough to use it obviously, but I am going to sharpen it. I'm going to sharpen all of these. Let's take a look. Okay. This one looks like it's good. And I think I recently picked it up because this one was so dull. <laughs> this particular one here is the NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso. So you can see the Espresso one is completely dull. So I do need to sharpen that one. This one is the NYX in my son. What? I don't know what that means. Anyway, here's the tip on that one. I'm going to say this one is still pretty good. Now we're getting into um, like my favorite brand of lip liners, and that is the About Face Matte Lip Liners. Uh, they call it the Fix Lip Pencil, and this one is in New Love. It looks like I got the tip stained with some mascara or something, but this one is in the shade New Love, and <laughs> as you can see, it really needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, like I barely applied any pressure. I should have shown you how this other one swatches. I'm going to use the same pressure, but that's that one from the NYX. I'm a terrible swatcher, so bear with me. This one over here that doesn't need to be sharpened is going to be at the bottom. Okay, see this one I had to press really hard. I think those two are way too similar. Well, not really. One is a little bit more, one's a little bit more warm brown and one's a little bit more neutral brown. Anyway, I do need to sharpen this one. This one is the About, this is another one from About Face, and this one is in the shade Paper Romance. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite shade, as you can see. It is completely worn to the bone. Like, that's, I had to press hard to get that much because it's not usually that dark. Let me press normal. This is the same one. See? Okay. But I had to press hard because it's so dull. I need to sharpen that one. Another one from About Face. Here is the shade called Forever Flame. That one still looks good. I haven't used that red that often, so it's still pretty sharp. Oops. Did I? I didn't. So here's the swatches of my lip colors so far, my lip liner shades. Here is another one from About Face Beauty, and this is in the shade, what does that say? Yeah, okay. This is in the shade Pink in the Morning. That's pretty raunchy. And look at that. You can tell I really, really like this shade, but I don't even think I can get a swatch of that one. Yeah, it's so, it needs to be sharpened so much that I don't even have a swatch of that one. I'm going to try to remember to swatch that one for you once I get a little bit of sharpener on that one. 
Here's one that is pretty new to my collection. This is uh, Love Like a Sunset. This is in the shade Love Like a Sunset. I've never used this yet. It is brand new. Let's get a little swatchy swatch. Let me skip a shade. Ooh, that's soft and pretty. I can't wait to use that, but I, I left a little space to swatch that other one, which was pink in the morning. Okay, so here's, this is new. I don't need to sharpen that one. Here is my MAC lip liner in stone. This is actually one of my most used lip liners. And I'm gonna resharpen this one. I tried to sharpen this one recently. As you can see, it looks like a pencil. I used this sharpener here just because it happened to be the one that was in front of me and the largest one. This one is a Mary Kay sharpener from way back in the day when I sold Mary Kay, <laughs> quote unquote, sold Mary Kay. <sighs> Don't get me started on that. Actually, if you're interested in hearing my journey with Mary Kay, comment down below. I'd be happy to do a video and share my, my honest experience and my truth about it. <laughs> anyway, um, as per to be expected, this Mary Kay sharpener, doesn't even do sharpening very well because although it did get a sharper point on it from where it was so dull, it ruined the shape of it. So I want to resharpen it with one of my actual good brands. This one is an Estee Lauder, if I remember correctly. And this one is a Chanel. This Chanel, <laughs> my dog, this Chanel lip liner, uh, what? Uh, sharpener. This Chanel sharpener I actually got as like a little purchase, like a freebie with purchase when I bought my very first Chanel lip liner, which was many, many years ago, and I've never repurchased another one. I should probably go check them out and get a better color this time. Maybe I will like it better. I digress. Anyway, I want to resharpen this one and all of them with my Chanel lip liner, uh, my Chanel sharpener, because that one's the best one. I actually only have this one because it's the only one that I have a big one for, and I forgot that, but now I remember. So anyways, I need to, that was a long story to say that I want to resharpen my MAC Stone. I have misplaced one of my favorite lip liners, and it is another one of my MAC lip liners in the shade Oak. I don't know where that one is. I might have to pick up another one because I really liked it. Here is another About Face lip liner in the shade Little Little. I like this one too. It is completely dull. <laughs> it's completely dull. Let's see if I can get a swatch. Yeah, but I had to press really hard and it was a lot of wood. This one is a cool tone pink. And I did have the liquid lips to all of these uh, About Face lip liners, except um, like minus the orange. But I had to declutter them because they expired. I did recently. I did recently pick up the orange. Oh, maybe I didn't, it's brown. Hmm, why did I get this orange lip liner? Oh, to go with my uh, Mel Thompson lipstick, that's why. Anyway, but that one since has expired, like that one, what, it went rancid and so I had to declutter it. So I'm gonna have to pick up a new one, but when I do, I've got that lip liner. And last but not least is another one from About Face. And this one is in the shade, oh my God, what does that say? Cradle. And I can't even see what that says, but I remember now just by uh, memory. This is in the shade Cradle. Oh, this one still has a little bit. This has a little bit of point left, but it could use a good sharpening. Let's get a little swatcheroo. Okay, so that's really nice and creamy. Here is the swatches of all, let me put the lighting this way. Is that too bright? Yeah. Here's the swatches of all of my lip liners. You can tell I have a type. <laughs> and then I step out of the box just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna use just the top of this little lid to catch my shavings. And I am, I cannot tell you, I, I have put this chore off so long, but I am really excited <laughs> about getting my lip liners sharpened because I have missed them. And actually some of these lip liners, like most of my about face lip liners might even be coming up on expired. I'm not sure, but I want to try to get some use out of that. Do you see that? All of the shavings come off in one peel. 
there is a little bit of like the actual like lip part on there but look at that sharp sharp edge oh my goodness I love that sharpener so much okay so next is I'm gonna try to keep the um colors of the oh my gosh this one is so bad of the debris all together like I don't know uniform I don't even know why that matters. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear my family leaving in the background. Uh, I convinced my husband to take my son to practice this morning so that I can't, it's not a practice, it's to drop him off at like summer camp workout or whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first time ever that this one didn't really work on the lead. And it might be because there's gunk in there and it's kind of in the way. I wasn't prepared to clean this thing out. <laughs> I should have been. Oh my goodness. I just, I'm making a mess. Of course, anybody that knows me knows that's about par for course here. Okay. That is so soft. I could really, I could literally put that on my lip right now and <laughs> wear it. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I really, really want to get all of these sharpened today so that I can use these different shades in my looks because I'm tired of kind of just reaching for my one go-to just because I haven't sharpened my lip liners. I mean, like, that's that's really just not good. I'm going to have to clean that other one. I think it's too jammed up. Let's see how this one works. I haven't used this one in so long that I really don't remember. But if I remember correctly, I either got this one from my mother <laughs> back when I was in high school or from my grandmother. Okay, that it doesn't look the best, but I can use that, it's got a point. So rather than to continue sharpening down my pencil, I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, <clears throat> this is not going as, this is not going as well as I had hoped. <laughs> oh my, okay. I really just want to be able to use them. So even if I can't have the most beautiful point like the Chanel one first gave me, then I still want to just have a sharp enough edge that I'm not like it, putting wood on my lip. This is better. That's soft now. It's ugly. I don't like the shape of it. <clears throat> but I think these are just a little bit too soft to be sharpened well right now. It's making a mess. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> as long as I don't get it everywhere else, like, I'm fine if it's all over my makeup desk. Okay. Let me try to use some of these peelings to empty out this soft stuff in here. Oh, my gosh. That's going to make a big difference in the performance of that product. I mean, of this sharpener. I do need to wipe my hands. One moment. Okay. <laughs> I put a little bit of makeup remover on this. And I'm going to... Thumbnail. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this now off of my skin. Oh, I forgot that we still needed to swatch one. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I just really wanted to get that off of me. And next, let's do this one. Oh, that one got done. I put that in the wrong spot. The hint should have been that it was so short. All right, let's see if the... Let me just try to... Okay, let's see if we can recover from that and still sharpen. Now my hands are all slick and I can't hold it. <laughs> oh my, this one's about to get real sharp. I can tell this one's functioning back on perfect. <clears throat> oh my gosh, let it go. Let it go, my wrist can't take any more. <laughs> Thank you, oh geez. I twisted it out on the way out, so it's so soft. 
Okay, the tip broke off. That's gonna come off the second I use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the tip. And try to do a little bit more. about messy these about face pencils now that I've actually tried to sharpen them I I don't think they're my favorite anymore <laughs> I think my favorite is the Mac because the Mac sharpens really well I like the way these last they're creamy but really pigmented and they stick like really well but sharpening them is such a chore they're just a little bit too well, now, hold on. I'm eating my words. I think it's hit or miss. I don't know what's going on. A couple of these shades are a little too soft to sharpen well, in my opinion, or my experience. But I am getting, I am getting it to work a little bit. So that was a lot better. Did you see that? That is so much better now. Okay, let's try this NYX pencil. I think the trick here is to be sure to clean it off in between. I think that's the secret for lip sharpeners. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna sharpen nice and easy, but also it's not as soft on the lip either, because <laughs> it's real cheap. But look at that, that sharpened so nicely. And like, yeah, the tip broke off a little bit, which means it's soft enough that it's not really harsh but it's not so soft that it's melting off into the sharpener. So that's kind of nice. Okay. And I didn't even have to clean my machine after that. Well, maybe a little bit, hold on. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh God, it's not what I was trying to do. I'm gonna see if I can just fix this a little bit because I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, see this sharpens a lot better than the About Face ones do. And it sharpens more like the NYX one, but this performs better than the NYX, way better. Not quite as amazing as the About Face ones, but it's because they're not too soft, so of my collection of the three brands that I have here, my favorite brand is the MAC. I'm gonna pick up a couple of other brands of lip liners in the near future and just test out and see like who I like better, you know? I do have a Natasha Denona lip liner on its way to me, so I'll be excited to try that with my new Natasha Denona lipsticks. I did recently try one of the shades I'm going to talk about that in my next video coming up, but this is in the shade Noah. I also, of course, got the shade Michelle. <laughs> I've had those lipsticks for a few months. I finally got into them. So, oh my gosh, my hand is like tired of turning. I can't, like my muscles are just getting back to life. I can't do this much with it. Let go, let go. I can't use it anymore. I cannot turn it one more time. Let it go. Thank you. Oh, that was horridly difficult for me. <laughs> wow, that was hard. Okay. I, I'm not sure I want to. Oh, I'm so glad that was the last one. This is why I have been putting it off for so long because it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> At least not for me and my level of abilities in life right now, okay? This is just the season I'm in right now. And it's like, oh, geez, I just wiped that on my desk. And it's perfectly fine. I'm just doing the best I can here. Oh, my gosh. I am seriously wiping the remnants on my desk instead of picking it up. Here's the final sharpened lip liner. I'm so happy that now I literally can choose from any of my lip liners that I want to use in any of my looks. So, yeah. 
Oh, last thing before I go. Oh, I've got, oh my gosh, look at this. I've got stuff all over my nail. Make sure to get it all off my hand before I go making a mess everywhere I touch. Unbeknownst to me. Okay. <laughs> I think that's good now. All right, so anyways, before I go, let me show you what is on my nails. If you're wondering, this one might be easier to show. So this one here, this this little glittery one, is the Morgan Taylor, wait, yeah, Morgan Taylor, I Wanna Dance With Somebody in the shade Belt It Out, okay? And so that's what it looks like, not over a, a solid purple underneath because the first time that I had used it I had literally applied it as a topper over the OPI purple so I didn't know exactly what it looked like by itself but this is what it looks like on its own here it is that one okay so that's what that one looks like and then all of the other nails are this one here from lemon lacquer this is in a psych and eros I think this is actually the first time that I've used this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Maybe not. I think I remember seeing this cute little monito before. Anyway, yeah. So these are the polishes that are on my nails, if you're curious. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my channel out so much. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. It really does mean so much. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment for engagement and I will see you in my next video. Bye.